Thank you for tuning in to watch my Ironstone haul video. Um, I'm someone that loves to watch yard sale, um, thrift, Goodwill, home decor haul videos, and I've just never been successful in finding very many Ironstone. Uh, I've never seen an Ironstone haul video, but maybe like a, you know, I'll see a piece or two here or there in the um, Goodwill haul videos, and that's always exciting. I really like it. So I thought I would just gather my Ironstone onto my dining room table. Um, I use it for decor, so I've went around my house, taken it off the wall, out of plate racks, um, taken things out of the bowls, and I just gathered them here for just what I'll try to make a quick video, tell you where I got the piece and what I paid for it. Um, some of this most likely isn't Ironstone, but it's very similar. And like I said, just use it for decor. Um, so for fun, for looks, I think it's beautiful. So I'll show you uh, what I have so far. I'm gonna start right here. Um, we went to a Goodwill recently, a few towns over, looking for ugly Christmas sweaters for a party. And I actually did quite well at this little Goodwill. Um, I got these two small, very heavy pieces. I've already put felt E6000 glue and some twine to make these ornaments. Uh, my main Christmas tree was between two plate rolls that I made and the branches were pretty pretty substantial so they held these pretty well they are heavy but I thought it was cute um I will definitely this summer when yard sales start back up I'll definitely be looking for little small ironstone pitchers uh, any little tiny pieces I know that they make little pieces I've seen them in other people's homes and display um, and try to make ornaments out of them so I hung one oblong and one the other way. Work nicely. These were 99 cents at the Goodwill. Um, this plate, this is when I say might not be ironstone. It's very heavy. I love the shape. Love anything with a scallop. Um, this is on the back. See, I just don't know. Uh, maybe it's ironstone. Possibly not. 99 cents. I use this as yeah, a base. I put a Christmas tree that was flocked, like a three-foot tree. Um, snow. I just made a pretty little centerpiece on the table piece. There, they had four of these at this Goodwill store. These were ninety-nine cents a piece. Find it. Ninety-nine cents each. Um, I didn't buy all four. I bought three because one of them. This has a lot of gold, but it had pretty much all intact. You can see this whole gold emblem. I'm not really into gold. And the other two I've already hung on the wall because they have almost none of this. They were, uh, you can barely actually even see that. This one I don't have a home for yet because it has a good a good amount of gold. I'm not crazy about it, but I do like it. 99 cents. Okay. Okay, this next piece. Uh, there's a little, it's like a, resale store uh, consignment shop. It's a new consignment shop near my house. I pass it every time I go to town. I ran in there also looking for ugly Christmas sweaters for our family for a party and it was mostly kids toys, uh, clothes, uh, baby items but they did have a little teeny tiny back room with uh, home home items, uh, old coffee, coffee makers, things like that and this plate I thought was very interesting. Love the back of it, and I would actually use this as a stand, and I'll show you why. I, uh, you know, I could put a piece of decor, um, a Christmas tree or a pumpkin in the fall, kind of use it as a stand, because <laughs> not loving the fruit. Like I said, don't love the gold, don't hate it, just don't love it. Um, don't love the transfer on this. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll get a knife and scrape it off, or maybe I can find a chemical to uh, dissolve it. But when I researched online, uh, you know, that's a baked on glaze, and unless the glaze naturally wears off, you're you're pretty much going to have that. Uh, but if someone knows of a way to get that off, an easy method, please leave that in the comments, and I would 
be glad to try that. Uh, Mom and I go to Amish country once a year, and this has been over a year ago that I got this. Um, I just have this little plant for spring. I have this on a shelf in the kitchen. It was in the basement, but I went and got it for this video. Um, so cute. I just like, think this is adorable. Little tiny teacup. Love the blue, green, teal color. Um, scallops, crazy, all the stuff I love. Ten cents. Ten cents. I only have the one, so I snatched that up. And I may use, I've seen on Pinterest where, you, uh, you know, the big, large, white glass canisters that you put flour, sugar, oats, and you kind of set that on top and use it as the scoop. I thought that would be very pretty. Okay, on to the next. This I got at a yard sale this summer. It was 10 cents. I got a huge uh, lot of white dishes. I love, love white dishes just to stack. They weren't anything old or antique. Um and I don't use them to eat off of. But this was 10 cents. Uh, lovely for fall. Um, I like to have like white pumpkins and some white decor. This had little pheasants, um, some wheat, and some pheasants, just really cute. Maybe not iron stone, because there's no marking. Uh, there is, there are cracks, it looks to be old. Uh, it's pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Uh, 10 cents, so hey works for me. I wanted to share this book with you. It's called Kitchen Ceramics. And if you can get your hands on a copy of this, if you like ironstone and ceramics, I love uh, pottery, ceramics, dishes, uh, just my thing. And this ironstone uh, section in the book is really nice. There's uh, a lot of detail, the pictures. The pictures have me really excited to collect some larger pieces. Um, I'm looking for, I, I would love to have um, something like this to put flowers in, like live flowers in our house, little house plants. Um, yeah. This book I got on eBay, I believe it was $6. I got it from one of the Goodwill stores on eBay, which I love to get books from there. Since we're in the dining room, I'm gonna show you one way that I decorate with um, the white, plates. Well, there's a few examples in my dining room. Now, I did take some things down for this video. Um, I do a hot chocolate bar every Christmas. I'm going to leave this up till February. It is January here and uh, lots of snow outside and I think this is still appropriate. I will probably take the red down in the next week. Um, get that taken care of. This white plate I got at a Goodwill for, I think this one was $2, $1.99. Um, probably not ironstone. It has a newer look. Um, holds lots of our items for the hot cocoa bar. Um, I don't know if you can see this old shutter that I got at a yard sale. Uh, that's one of the plates that I got at a yard sale um, in a big kit. It's like a Mikasa piece. Um, I took I took this down, but it was hanging. Um, just used a pop tab and some uh, E6000 glue. That works really well for me. And just kind of have that there. I like how that looks. Um, and there's another example here in my dining room of just how I like to stack dishes. These are Linux bowls that I got at um, TJ Maxx. Stack these little homework bowls. Um, okay, back to the iron stem. Okay. Um, I got two of these plates at a flea market. They were very inexpensive. I believe they were. I got both of them for three dollars. Two plates for three dollars. Um, the one, the other one, is hanging in the living room on a plate wall. This one I just have on a little plate rack. Love the scallop. Love the beading. Love the design. So pretty and a great deal. Okay, these two pieces I got from the Springfield Antique um, Extravaganza here in Ohio. They have that twice a year. It's pretty amazing. My husband and I. Uh, we'll even take off work to go. It's just such a great day. Such a, such a lot of, just tons of vendors. It's really overwhelming. It would almost take two days probably to see everything. Um, I already have this large, if I can get that all in the video even, this large platter. Um, 
I've already covered it, sorry. This is hanging on my plate wall in the living room, which I'm gonna insert a picture of that at the end of the video. Uh, she had $10 on this, I didn't really wanna pay that. <clears throat> she said, I hate to barter, but I asked if she could do any better on it. She said, no, I have that priced really well. So she had a large boot. I walked around, found this little guy, back up to her and said, well, uh, he was three dollars. I thought maybe she'd give me a dollar off since I was buying both. And she said, well, if you buy the large one for ten, you can have him. So that worked for me. Um, <laughs> I've ordered two pieces from Etsy. Two pieces from Etsy. This is the first one. Um, tons of crazy scallops. So heavy. So nice. That's what the back is. I believe I paid just under $20 for this bowl. The other piece that I got from Etsy is this piece. Very heavy. It is the, I love the color of this. It's almost a mustardy color, which if you can see my dining room table, um, that's the hutch in my dining room. My light, still have a little bit of my Christmas stuff up. Um, is that mustardy? color just a big fan of it so I uh, bought this from Etsy it has a chip which I love I love the chips um, this one I have on a wall in the kitchen and I believe it was probably my most pricey piece I think with shipping it was like $25 somewhere around in there okay um, the bowl was probably an example of something that is not ironstone it's more pottery I don't know. I'm the furthest thing from an expert on any kind of pottery, but ironstone, no, don't know that much about it. I what I would like to learn more. Absolutely love the markings in this bowl. So I'd like to show the, love to show you the detail on this. Um, I got this in the antique mall, and I think it was twelve dollars, ten or twelve dollars, probably right around in there and I use it for seasonal decor. I fill it with uh, like greenery and Christmas bulbs. Um, in the summer I put uh, the realistic looking lemons. I have some lemon decor uh, in my eating kitchen area and um, that's when I have that. So it's really nice. Probably not ironstone but just an awesome piece of pottery. Um, I bought these. I bought four of these. I took this off the wall in the kitchen. Above my back kitchen door, I have a plate rack with four of these that match. Um, I got them in an outdoor flea market. They were having kind of like a yard sale. They brought a bunch of their stuff outside. Okay, so these were a dollar a piece for four of them. And I've, I've had them for a few years displayed in my kitchen. I, I think they're lovely. Um, this bowl was from the same flea market where I got these two things, just a different vendor. Um, this was $2. Love it. It has it has a crack. I love the crazing. I love the cracks. Any of the imperfections just make it perfectly imperfect to me. I, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, and this was one of my most exciting finds. Um, this little stack here. There was a lady on a <clears throat> Facebook buy sell site and she had a huge box it was a pretty good size box of dishes uh, they were all plates and you could only see what was on top she had one picture and then a little stack of uh, plates beside them and you had to take them all and I could see I can't remember if it was the large one or the small I could see this shape kind of sticking out of the corner of the box and I was so excited about that uh, it took me a whole day. She didn't respond. I really wanted them, and she, it took her a whole day to respond to me, so I was so excited. For $10, I got this huge box. So much fun to go through. I got five of these. These are heavy and nice. I don't know if they're ironstone. See, they just say USA. So, don't know, but they have the look I love. I don't use any of my ironstone for food, but I would use, I think if I would use these if we had a little, uh, get together some company I, I love the shape uh, the heaviness really nice and then I hung these on my kitchen wall this is a very inexpensive way the 
you know, I, I love these. Can't beat those. Uh, they're just a little pricey. If you bring a lot of plates, which I was making a large plate wall. I had bought like six of those, ran out. So I went to uh, Pinterest and saw where you could use E6000, which I had. And these um, little plate hangers, which I bought a pack. I bought two packs, I think, at Walmart. And I believe they were $2 for a, a pack of maybe three. Um, and this has worked great. I mean, it is on there so well. E6000 is just normal stuff. Um, so these two, very interesting. I just think they're so interesting. I love the shape. The little bit of fluting. Tons of crazy markings. Just beautiful. Japan, Ironstone. Um, so all of this plus two more that I already have on the wall. Uh, two more of these were in that box along with um, several other Ironstone pieces that were transferware, which is not my thing. So I put them all back in the box and I'm going to, when I have a yard sale, I will sell it. Could probably easily get my $10 back, if not more, maybe I would even price them out separately. Uh, lots of good things in that box. A lot of interesting things. So there's just a few ironstone pieces. The book. Um, I have this other little piece of pottery. I ordered this from eBay thinking that it was a large pitcher, like a at least eight or ten inches tall. I was going to put some uh, greenery in for decor and to my surprise it was a little four inch cute little pot. So my husband's got some, he metal detects and he has some of his bindings in it. So there's that, and then one last thing I wanted to show you before I end this video is um, I have hung many, many plates with this, um, especially when they're the smaller, you know, lighter plates that don't weigh much. It says this will hold up to a pound. Got this Walmart for two dollars. I've hung so many. This is my second second pack actually. Um, I just put it four pieces uh, into little balls. Uh, smash it onto the wall. I pulled this off. No, not this one. I pulled one of these plates off the wall for the video. It is very, very hard to get off. So, you know, I don't have any expensive ironstone. If I did have, you know, a $50 plate, I would not hang it with this Loctite. But, hey, it has been extremely cheap, extremely easy. I can do it myself. My husband doesn't have to be home to help me hang anything or measure anything. I just put it where I want it and then I can also move it. So I thought if I ever found holiday pieces that would work great for that too. You know, if you found something that went with your Christmas decor and it just needed to be up for a month. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, I did order three pieces from eBay recently, uh, two days ago. And the lady's supposed to ship it out today. So when I get that box, I will make another little video and show you those three pieces. Thanks for watching.